Good morning. Uh, today we're going to talk about plant death and not so much the causes but just when to give up, when to pull them up, what to do with them after you've pulled them up. Um, as you can see our cucumbers, there's our healthy ones, about a week and a half ago. Notice that this plant here started to wither. It obviously um, got a disease or was attacked by a um, insect, which is what I'm thinking. The cucumber beetle uh, gets in there and it's something in its saliva basically kills the plant. Um, so it's been sitting here for about a week and I haven't had the heart to pull it up and just get rid of it. Same thing for over here, except this one seems to be doing a little bit better and still has not died, but it is definitely sick and um, I'm still holding out hope because it has so much fruit on it, but I'm probably gonna pull it up. Um, so we'll pull that one up today and I made the same decision two days ago. If you watched our last video or so, you'll notice that there is a gap here. We had a huge yellow squash plant that was right next to this that had the same issues with it. The squash bug uh, got a hold of it. And eventually, either that or it got a disease, I can't exactly determine which. So, didn't even have to yank that one up. It was just dead at the root. And something got in there. And I'll show you exactly what that looks at because I tossed that over here. Went as far as way uh, from your healthy plants as possible, but let me show you what happened. And it's just look at it, perfect example. Just mush. There's the root, and it basically just turned to mashed potatoes. And as you can see, a little bit in here too as well. Let me focus a little bit better on that. It is literally just mush inside there. It's pretty uh, devastating to see a completely healthy plant one day and then give it a week and this is what happens to it. But especially when it's got fruit still on the vine, look at the fruit was uh, the squash were actually just began to decay on the vine. They weren't growing any longer pulled my last one off uh, probably about a week and a half ago but look at that if anybody seeing this knows exactly what took place I'd love to know um, my guess is insects but you know I could be wrong but it's just devastating it's a completely healthy plant one day and then just garbage the next um, Gonna take a look over we got another plant that we're gonna pull up to as well it's a pumpkin and it is not doing too well I believe the same kind of disease or insect has got in there and destroyed it and the reason I don't think it's a disease so much as an insect causing something is because the plants next to it are still completely healthy and thriving We'll take a look at it right now. We're probably going to pull this one up right now too as well. And I'll go over and pull that um, cucumber up. So, we have our pumpkins here growing. There was another one to the left of it, which suffered from the same kind of wilting disease. I pulled up that one and removed it last week. <clears throat> but, as you can see, we have the same type of issues going on here. Um, you know what? Gosh, this is me just kind of holding out hope. But I know something's not right. Uh, I'm going to water this again today and just see what happens. If it doesn't come back or show any vitality, I will definitely pull it up. But see our compost pile is going good. Again, some animals got in there yesterday. I had this all completely buried, and you can see something dug up the corn cob. Next year, we'll definitely use a box or a barrel or something that flips over that we can continue to um, circulate the soil. So, lesson learned there. So let's go and uh, 
address this cucumber. Um, yeah, just gonna pull her up. Yeah, it seems so stiff still. Like there's actually, yeah. I don't know. It it just seems this one still seems solid at the root. Um, but yeah, she's dead. Insects, most definitely. Almost 100% positive the cucumber beetle got to this one. Um, I have to do a little bit more research. I think what happens is, and I'm sure you can watch some other video about it, but I read they get into the flower or they get into the blossoms and their saliva, like I mentioned earlier, does something that causes the plants to just die. So we're going to pitch this into the empty field. I don't want that in our compost. Uh, some people say just recompost them. I'm not going to do that. So we're down another plant and our yield on our cucumbers have been pretty high so I'm not too upset about it but I mean, it's never good to lose plants. And we've got another row of these in the back too as well. But that guy over there, I think we're going to keep him. Water him, maybe throw a little bit of fertilizer on there. I think that's like uh, organic fertilizer. We're not going to use anything like miracle Grow or anything like that. Um, and see what happens. Maybe put a fungicide, spray a fungicide on there, which I don't think it is, but hey, last ditch efforts. And uh, doesn't shape up in a day or two, then it's getting the boot. But um, I guess while we're videoing, you can take a walk around. Some of the things that we've been doing lately and focusing on is getting our tomato plants trimmed up. Um, as you can see, thinning out a little bit. Been pretty bad about pulling those little uh, saplings off in the middle here, but stayed up on it pretty early during the year, so it hasn't gotten too bad. And basically just directing all of our vines up through the cages or through the wires of the posts. Everything seems to be pretty healthy. Perfect example here is good pruning where there's not a lot of leaves on the bottom. You got some completely straight stems all the way up, good direction, and plant is healthy. There's a little bit of spotting going on here, but we'll do what we can to take care of that and fix it up. But other than that, I think we're doing good. Just need to get some water on these guys, especially our lettuce, again. Gotta do a lot of weeding back here. Um, yeah. Let it start to fade out. So I think I'm going to cut these plants down and just take them home. Beans still kind of crawling up. Didn't crawl as far as I thought they would. I really thought this would be a place where they would just kind of vine up here. But it didn't seem to happen. Our bush beans are doing really well. I didn't expect those to climb. But our beans here I was definitely looking for more of a gradual growth up the strings that we laid out, which we do have here. And we've got some really healthy beans from here so far, but ah, back here, we've got more of our cucumber. Gotta make sure to get some water on these guys today and kind of thin this out a little bit so that they have room to grow. Hops, doing okay. I don't expect any yield from them. This one's doing a lot better. Um, I think I'll dig them up at the end of the season and maybe take them home and stick them in the fridge or uh, plant them in my backyard before the frost and see how they end up next year and maybe bring them back up. I don't know, I have to do a little research on that. But, oh look, so this has paid off a little bit. Nice cucumber, pickling cucumber there. I've got a lot up here too as well, that's awesome. These are looking really good, um, I will definitely do this again next year and be a little bit more diligent about getting these things strung up the pole and it's like our red peppers are doing well too as well got some more zucchini here oh, look, we definitely got one to pick if you like that size it's definitely a good size right there get that one off there today and that old guy needs a little bit more time all right 
guess that's about it for today but uh thank you very much and uh give us a subscribe if you'd like i know we don't have a lot of videos yet but uh we're getting there another month or so we'll have a ton of tomatoes we pick in every day and hopefully we get uh some video results of what that looks like i'm guessing based on last year i was putting like little buckets of tomatoes bring them to work like every single day all right have a good one guys